Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming. And today, we're gonna talk about environmental variables in other languages, okay? I know a bunch of you guys are sick of hearing about Bash, so we're gonna talk about uh, some other languages. What other languages? Well, let's find out. We have a C file and we have a Rust file. Cool, we're diving into other languages. How awesome is that? Well, so what can we do? Well, let's first, let's compile them, make sure they're actually ready to go. Awesome, so now we have our two executable tools and then we also have the built-in env command. So we have env here, and if you run this, it gets our entire environment. There's a lot of stuff here, that sucks. If we run our cenv program, we get all the same information. And if we run our Rust env program, we get all the same information. And just to prove it to you guys, I know you guys might be interested, people in the comments will be asking, let's take a look at some of these real quick. cenv.c is very simple. All we have to do is define a pointer to character pointers called environ. As long as that is global, we will have that when we compile on a POSIX machine. So now we just loop through this and we just print what we see. All we have to do is just print this entire string and that string is key equals value. So we just print those separated by new lines. Very simple. Our Rust program, even simpler. Our Rust program just is for key and value. Uh, we enumerate um, on env var. So this returns an iterator, which returns a tuple of the key and the value. So then we just print the this equals that. So key equals value. Very, very simple programs. These are super useful because now we can do something like export Dave foo equals hi, um, export foo equals by. Um, and then from there we can do env grep foo. And hey, look. Both of our uh, variables are there, exactly like we expect. We could run the C one, grep foo, they're all there. We could run the Rust one, grep foo, they're all there. How awesome is that? That is a great way to grab environmental variables in your programming languages. Other languages will have other facilities. Um, these are just two quick examples. Um, so what can we do with this? Well, the env command is actually more powerful than you guys might realize. With env, I can reset the environment. I can get rid of all environmental variables. So if I run it with a hyphen and then the name of the program here, there's nothing. There was nothing in the environment. I completely cleared it out. I could even run env again. This command admittedly looks weird. Env is calling itself. There's nothing there. Why would I do this? Because I can set things here. Foo equals high. Bar equals by. And then I could run env. There you go. I could run cenv. I could run rust env. This is a useful way of clearing out your environment or manually setting your environment to only have the keys and things you want in it. And it just goes to show that in other languages, yeah, there's different ways of grabbing the environmental variables, but they all operate operate largely the same way and they're super useful. Um, so yeah, hopefully that demystified environmental variables.